book of James chapter 1. It says when, it says, it says, do not say, do not any of you say that when you are tempted, you are tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, nor does he tempt anyone. But when any man is tempted, it says he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. And when, and when desire gives, conceives, it says it gives birth to sin. And when sin is fully grown, it brings forth death. Oh, it brings forth death, sin. That's the nature right now of our country, full of sin, full of idolatry, full of iniquity, full of wickedness, full of impurity right now. Do you? Are you? Why are you stumbling? Been drinking? No. No drinking tonight? Not at all. Okay. Jesus, my savior. Naughty and nice? That's that's not Jesus. Jesus doesn't. No. That's a worldly thing there. No, it's a Christmas sermon. I know, but Christmas is not. Jesus is not approved with Christmas. Haven't you read the Bible? Hey. I've read it twice. Is that guy from YouTube? Uh, yeah, we have a YouTube channel. Yeah. I think I've seen you on that. Damn, I'm concerned for you. I'm talking to this later here. I'll talk to you in a minute. I'm concerned for you, ma'am. You know, you know Christian or uh, Christmas is a is a pagan holiday. If you look at the re if you look, you have been. I can smell alcohol. Is that not coming from you? Yeah, it's. I had one. You've been drinking. One drink. Why don't you just be honest with me? But you're right about the pagan holiday. Why don't you be honest with me? You know, you told a lie just two minutes ago. You told me you didn't drink. No. Just in the serious. You see, you see, you know, it says make the tree good and its fruit good, or make the tree bad and its fruit bad. You know, when you just lie and you don't think twice about it, that's serious, ma'am. You better, you gotta call, cry to God. I care for your soul. I don't want to see you. The Bible says all liars end up in hell. That's in Revelation 21.8. Don't you understand your need? Can you hear me? You need help. You need to be delivered. I have been delivered. And I just wanted to... No, no. You, you've been falsely uh, uh, comforted. You've been falsely comforted by probably some pastor at one of these churches that didn't tell you... That, that, you know you know that your, 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 your life is degrading without obedience to God. No shit. Yeah, see, there's cursings. There's all kinds of evil things. There's demons, man. They get inside of you. There's demons. I don't want you to have demons. I don't have any demons. That, that's what. That's the cursing that comes out of you. It comes from the. That's a cursed thing. That it's inside of you. You need help. No, I want to go to school for theology and become a pastor. No, well, that, well, that's not biblical either. Women are not to be pastors over men. First off, the Bible says that in First Corinthians, I think it's fourteen. But there is a there is a role for the women to teach other women. But right now the Bible says the Bible says that that do you teach others not to not to steal, but yet you steal? Do you teach others not to commit sin and drink and get drunk, but yet you are a drunkard? Would you would you do that? Because now you have a stricter judgment. I had one drink. Well. And I'm not a thief. Oh no, I'm just giving you an example of, of what the Bible talks about when 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 you preach against something or you or you tell people that hey you should live for God, but you're not living for God yourself. That makes you, that, that's a serious thing. The Bible says, it says, it says you have to cleanse the cup, the in, inside of the cup first, then the outside will be cleansed. What? I know you from somewhere. I, I don't know. I, look, I'm not mission, here to... Mission? Yeah, we go to the mission. This is about Jesus, man. This is about, this is about the... the I know your wife. This is about what it means to be truly born again. I, love I hope you don't just profess it with your mouth. You got to live the life. You have to live the life of a Christian. You got to be born again, man. I don't think you're born again right now. I do not think that you're born again right now, and I'm concerned for your soul. Don't be worried about me. About I am terrified for you. You know, God drew you in for a reason. You know, you got this naughty or nice shirt on. You need help. Christmas is not going to help you. The spirit of Christmas is the spirit of the Antichrist spirit. People, you know, nowadays there's no fear of God. There's no understanding. Oh, you need to go home and repent and seek the Lord in your secret place. There's a secret. You've ever repented? You tell the preacher to go home? There's a little bit of hypocrisy in that testimony. There's a bad testimony there, man. Are you look, look, you need to come home. Come home to Jesus. The Bible says the Bible says that there's more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents. Don't be a hypocrite. Don't say that you're a Christian and yet you have these these just these quick reactions uh, to, to the word of God. You you know you that's bad fruit. That's that's a testimony that really you're a false con convert. You're you're not a testimony of God's love. God's love testifies of, of the word of God. You know it says it says the Lord gave the word. And great was the company of those who proclaimed it. You know why people want the preacher to go home? It's because they're not proclaiming the word themselves. They're not preaching the word themselves. They're afraid of what men think. You know, it says, Jesus said in John chapter 5, it says, How can you believe who seek honor from one another, but you do not seek the honor that comes from the one and only God? How can you believe? How could you believe? Him? Jesus Christ. He's the one that you need to worship tonight. Jesus. Don't worship the demons of the holiday spirit. 
Oh yeah, there's a lot of evil spirits around the holidays. A lot of traditions of men. The Bible says, do not follow these things. No, you need to follow Jesus to the cross. Follow Jesus. Carry your own cross. Jesus said, if a man comes after me, he must deny himself, pick up his own cross, and follow me. you got to follow Jesus. you got to live for Christ. Quit living for this world. Oh, I know. There's a lot of things going on out here in Cape Coral tonight. Celebration of the holidays. Celebration. Everything's a celebration in this world. Everything is a party in this world. No. It's much more serious. Life and death are at stake today. What happens if you die? What happens when you stand before God? Uh, a lot of blindness. A lot of unbelief in this country. A lot of people don't obey the Bible anymore. Is that you? Are you obeying Jesus? You living right? Trusting in the Messiah? Trusting in the one and only God? One and only true God? There's only one and only true God. His name is Jesus. You're going to stand before Jesus and give an account. He's the judge. The King of Kings. I want to see you make it into heaven, but don't think don't think you're going to make it into heaven if you're not born again. You must be born again. You must be born again. Don't find yourself living your life for all these holiday festivities, but you're not living your life for Jesus Christ. What are you doing with your life? What are you living for? What are you obeying? The Bible says you're a slave to that to whom which you obey, either of sin that leads to death or of obedience that leads to life. What are you obeying? It means when you obey Jesus. Jesus said, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do the things that I say? Are you professing Jesus with your mouth, but then you get drunk on the weekends? You get drunk at holiday fest? No, don't do that. That's a hypocrite. That's somebody who says that they know God. Oh, but their actions. Deny Him. Don't deny God with your actions. The Bible says, be a doer of the word, not a hearer only. So deceiving yourself. There's a deception today by the devil. The devil came to kill, steal, and destroy you today. Make you think that you're going to get into heaven because you think you're a good person. But there's none good, the Bible says. There's not one who does good. No, you need to come to Jesus and be changed into His image. How do you get changed into His image? You gaze into His presence, the Bible, the Word of God, the Spirit. You pray without ceasing. You call upon God. You confess your sins, not to a priest. No, don't trust in the priest, the pastor, the person who says that they get you in. Oh, you just pray this prayer. You just... You just go to church enough and then you'll be accepted by God. No. The Bible says you got to repent or you're going to perish. You must repent of your sins. you got to turn from your sins. Turn from the marijuana smoking. Turn from the pornography. Turn. The Bible says turn and live. God takes no pleasure in the death of a soul but that you would turn and live. The Bible says. you got to turn from your sin. Turn from your ungodliness. Turn from the unlawfulness. People nowadays, they have all their boyfriends and girlfriends. They, they, they're kissing and hugging their boyfriends and girlfriends and having sex outside of marriage. That's unlawful. Do you know that? That is unlawful. People don't even have intentions of marrying these people. And they do these things continually thinking that God's not going to judge them. I'm here to warn you, there is a judgment day when you will be judged. The books will be opened. The Bible says there's a great white throne of judgment. And it says that the heaven and the earth flew away, fled from his face. You understand you're going to stand before God? Very serious business, folks. I don't want to see you go to hell. If you don't repent, you will end up in hell. If you don't, if you continue to live the life you're living apart from God, you will end up in hell, folks. It's serious. There's a lake of fire prepared for you if you continue in idolatry. If you continue in all the unbelief, continue in all the selfish life, selfishness. No, don't live selfishly. Selfish ambition, vain conceit. These are the works of the flesh. The works of the flesh are evident, it says. There's evidence. There is evidence when people live after the flesh. What is it? Sexual immorality. It's lying, stealing, covetousness, greed. Oh, there's a big one there. Black Friday greed. A lot of greed out there. I tell you what, but God, it says, He is greedy. The Bible says the spirit that dwells in you, it says, is envious. He is jealous. His name is jealous. His name is wonderful. And he will not be second. The Bible says that no flesh will glory in God's presence. God will not share his glory with another, the scripture says. My people perish for lack of knowledge, the prophet Hosea said. There's a lack of knowledge in Cape Coral. There's a lack of biblical knowledge. Oh yeah, you go to church and you listen to the grace messages that don't have any conviction in it. Tell you you can't lose your salvation. Tell you you can go on living in the world. Oh, just, just build yourself up in self-esteem and go on have another drink. Go on and look at some more pornography. Go on and continue to live after the God of this world who blinds the eyes of the unbelievers. 
Why don't you turn to Jesus Christ and repent before you die and go to hell? God cares for you. He doesn't want you to go away. You know, the Bible says Jesus is going to come and he's going to say, Depart from me, you who work iniquity, into the devil's hell. Oh, no, the demons need to go away from you. you got demons you're giving yourself over to. Do you understand there's demons chasing you? When you get, you're in crutches. And you sit there and you want to mock God? Why would you mock God? I have the answer for your problem. You need Jesus. He can heal you. God can take you away from him, but you mock your creator. I'm a preacher of Jesus Christ. Well, you know what? This country is departed from God. America doesn't follow Jesus Christ. You know, you know, your President Obama doesn't agree with the Bible. President Obama doesn't trust the living God. He doesn't trust Jesus Christ. I trust in Jesus. I know that you can be saved from your sin, your alcoholism, your marijuana smoking. You need help. You know, the Bible says there's help that comes from the sanctuary. I know the demons, they want us to go away. But you know what? God wants me to cry out and spare not the Bible says. Hey, why are you getting in my face? Why do you have so much anger in your heart? my family. Well, why don't you just walk away? I Why do you have, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not crowding in on you. You know, this is the, this is the product of America. This is the product of our army. This is the product of, of our modern day. You know, you know, you know. The Bible says, the Bible says, these people it says that that they draw near with their mouths, they honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Jesus said, their hearts have been removed. It says, far from me. Sorry. And Jesus said that they teach as commandments the doctrines of men. This is doctrines of men, you know, trust in America, trust in the dollar, trust in these in the stock market. That's a doctrine of men. The Bible says those who trust in their wealth and boast in the multitude of their riches, it says none of them can by any means redeem their brother because the redemption of their souls is costly. Did you know the redemption of your soul is costly, the Bible says? It's costly, the price of your soul. Jesus Christ took that cost upon himself. But when you continue in sin, the Bible says there remains no more sacrifice for sins, but only but only a fearful expectation of... I don't celebrate Christmas. Christmas is not a, is not a Christian holiday. The Bible doesn't say to celebrate the birth of Jesus. It says to go and sin no more, Jesus said. I have a question. Okay, I don't have to answer your question. I'm here to preach. If you want to talk to my wife, what's your question? I'll give you one question. i got to preach. Do you sit where your wife has sat? Do I sit where my wife has sat? Yes. Because she cleans and she is unclean. You're going to hell okay. too. See her there. Bro. Anyways, as I was saying, the Bible says to be to repent and go and sin no more, Jesus said. You know, you know, you know what does it mean to go and sin no more? It means it means you turn from evil and you start doing good. The Bible says in Psalms 34, it says, I will teach you children. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is the man who loves life and desires many days that he may see good? Let him keep his tongue from speaking evil and his lips from deceit. Let him turn from evil and do good. Let him seek peace and pursue it. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. All is against you if you do evil. God doesn't hear your prayers if you're living in sin. You're going on in willful sin. God is hiding his face from you. All you might think because you're blessed, because you got money in your bank account, because you got a healthy body, that you think that you're approved by God. No, it's not true. God, it says, He makes the sun to rise on the evil and the good. He sends the rain on the just and the unjust, Jesus said. Why you know, God let why recovering addicts suffer? Well, you're su people who are, who are addicts are suffering because of their own sins. The Bible says, uh, Do not be deceived. A man, a woman will reap what they sow. God wants to deliver you, but you have to do your part and repent. You got to stop living in sin. Stop justifying your sex outside of marriage. Stop justifying, you know, all your, your wicked rap music and all your evil uh, movies that you go and watch. Evil music. You understand? The Bible says not. But how do you know what love is? You think you're being loving towards me? Jesus said, I'll tell you what love is. I'll tell you what the Bible says love is. I'll tell you what Jesus said love is. I care about what Jesus thinks about love. You think this is not loving. The Bible says... The Bible says, no, I'm telling you, the Bible says that people are going to go to hell. I'm telling you how to be saved from hell. The Bible says, better are the wounds of a friend than the kisses of an enemy. Open rebuke is better than love carefully concealed. You're concealing your love. You hide your love. Because, because the Bible says that an open rebuke, an open rebuke is better than hidden love. No, you know what Jesus said? Jesus said this. Jesus said, as many as I love. As many as I love, says Jesus, I rebuke and chasten, therefore be zealous and repent. I wouldn't call Jesus a liar, young lady. I wouldn't do that if I were you because God cannot lie. It is impossible for God to lie. 
The Bible says that all, no, yes, you are. Yes, you are, no, because you said that I preaching said, the gospel is, is God, not love. No, I said no, no, no. You know, you know what Jesus said about love? Jesus said that if said. you love me, you would obey my commandments, Jesus. That is what love is, to obey the I commandments love. of God. I love if you love Jesus, then you would be preaching the gospel to other people. You wouldn't be you wouldn't be out here trying to squash the word of God. You know, you know, Jesus said they hated me without a cause, Jesus said. Jesus said they would oh, how do you know I don't take care of people? How do you know what I do when I'm when I'm coming out here to preach? How do you how do you know? You judging me hypocritically? You want to judge me hypocritically? I'm giving you a righteous judgment. I'm trying to be saved. You need Jesus. You need Jesus. Without Jesus, you're gonna stand before the judge and you'll go to hell. You'll be condemned. I don't want you to go to hell. Right now you're an unbeliever, you're not a Christian, you're not following God. You're, you're the you're enemy. Right. You're the enemy of the cross of Christ. You're, right. you're over here actually, persecuting the preachers. Actually, you know what? The Bible you're says. Right. The Bible says it's manifest evidence witch, of the so righteous. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, so, so, right. how, so, why would you, you say that you, that you that you're that you're that you're going to judge God and that you're not afraid of God? You have God no no love. fear of God. God Dude, the Bible says love. that the fear this of God is the beginning of knowledge and wisdom. There's no wisdom when you don't fear God. When you sit there and you want to live this way, you want to continue to live as a friend of the world. Oh, it's called preaching. It's called preaching. The Bible said the word preaching in the Bible is, is the word. No, it's, no, it means to proclaim the gospel. Why are you so angry, man? Why don't you move on? You got such a problem. You don't know what love is. You're a witch. You just told me you're a witch. You don't love people with your witchcraft. The Bible says that, that all sorcerers will have their part in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death, Jesus said. Do you know what sorcery is? That's that's marijuana smoking, drug use. Yes, it is the devil, yes. The devil came to kill, steal, and destroy, Jesus said. No, I came to give you life and life more abundantly, says the Savior. Oh, the baby in a manger. You know, Jesus Christ, he is the one. He's going to come back. He's going he's gonna to judge the nations, it says. He's going to render to you according to your works, Jesus said. He says, my reward is with me to give it to each man, to each woman, according to their deeds. Oh, you better fear God. Your time is coming soon. You don't think it's... Man, I tell you, death sneaks up on a moment. You know, I almost lost my life four days ago at the hand of a madman with a machete. True story. A guy was going to take my life and his family's with him. He had full of demons. I tell you, if you're not living for Jesus, you got demons stalking you. You got things cre creeping around your corner, man. Oh, you got no protection, man. You got no, no one's got your back. If you don't have Jesus, you're all alone in this world. You're without hope. You're without Christ. You're without God. But I come to tell you how to have Jesus Christ. Don't flash your devil sign at me. No, you need to humble yourself. You need to cry to God. You need to, you need to listen to the voice of God. He speaks loud through his word, through conviction, in the spirit, in the heart. Oh, the heart of man is the place where God. Hey, how you doing? Nice meeting you again. Good. Going? Good. Good. We've got you a designated spot. Yeah. I'm... You're allowed to have an amplified area, but you're not allowed to compete with another amplified area. Okay. Okay. So I got you. Is everything right good? Here. We're, we're not. We're not. We're not. We're not going to go to a spot. We're just going to preach. Okay. We have every right to do it. So. Like I said, I'm, I'm here to protect you as yeah. much as everybody else. Yeah. Okay. Well, 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 here's the thing, ma'am. I We're not going to continue to be interrupted like we were last time. But we have every right to preach. I'm allowed to talk to you just like you're allowed I, to talk I, to I know, but, but, but here's the thing. Right. If, if our rights are infringed and it's this thing where we're continuing, I have no problem right. talking to you. To talk no, I have no problem talking okay. to you and establishing something. I'm just saying, like, right. if we continue to have this thing where we're going back and forth like we did last time, I don't want to do that. But, but here's the deal. We do have a spot for you. Okay. With another state, so it's kind of silly. You're defeating your own point. No, no. Okay, because especially when they get going, yeah. then they're not going to hear you. Do you want people to hear your message or not? We're, we're, hear your message? Well, no. What, I, I'm not going to be put into a spot. I'm just. We're just going to okay. walk around and preach. All right. Can I ask so. you not to do it right by the stages? Because then you're in competition with each stage. Well, you know, what is well, the goal? Today, where's the sta what's the stage you're talking about? Hold, hold right now. Let me let me talk to the sergeant, okay. please. Here's a stage. There's a stage. Okay, what is oh, the when goal? they oh, when goal? they start when they start when they start going, I'll, I'll move. I don't have a problem with that. Okay. I'm, I'm not. I wouldn't sit here and preach uh, well, while they were going. I'm not gonna have. I'm not gonna be able to walk away from that. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna have to be here asking you questions all night and making sure well, you turn it down enough. That well, that's up to you. But there's gonna come a space. there's gonna come a point in time when I just continue to preach, and then if, right. if I'm breaking a law, you need to tell me. Because right. I'm not. That's that's what I'm trying to explain I'm like to you. The Lord so. said to you, you're allowed to send your message. You're allowed to do it appropriately. You're allowed to do it respectfully. Yeah. I, I would hope you're not jumping in people's faces and, and putting them on guard. We have everything on videotape. We don't. We don't. We don't do that at last all. Time we had a problem, and that's where she almost got hurt. Well, we didn't jump in anyone's face. No, we didn't do. We didn't. We have that all on video. We don't jump in anyone's face. But you're not going to compete with the other stages either. That it is an event and it's put on. So you, I got yeah, yeah. this for you if you want. Well, well, okay. Well, I'm telling you that we're probably not going to once they start performing, but well, okay, okay. Okay, because it's only fair. Okay. So as I was saying, Jesus is the Jesus Christ is the Lamb. He's slain before the foundation in the world. The Bible says that Jesus Christ. 
He's the, he's, the, he's the one to whom all creation, it says, will bow the knee at the name of Jesus. Every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to glory, to the glory of God the Father. You know, there's a Father. There's, Jesus, there, there's God the Son, God the Father, God the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, I send you the Holy Spirit. He says in my name, the Spirit of truth. He says he will testify of, of, of all things that, that, I, that I myself profess. He goes into heaven. Jesus, he went into heaven to sit down at the right hand of God till his enemies be made his footstool, the Bible says. Do you know that every enemy of Jesus Christ will be made his footstool? He'll be put under his feet. In the book of Ephesians chapter 1, verse 22, it says this. It says, it pleased God to put all things under his feet, under Jesus' feet. Yes, and it says that he has put him to be head of all things to the church, which is his body, which fills all in all. When you become a true Christian, I'm a partaker of the body of Christ, and I fill this world with the gospel. This, this is the fulfillment of that scripture, is I fill Cape Coral with the gospel. But what are you filling Cape Coral with? Are you a partaker of every evildoer in Cape Coral? Are you a partaker of all the, all the people who don't fear God and all the people who, who, who say that they say they're good people and say that they follow God, but yet they're living just like everyone else in the world? They're just a, a friend of the world, just a, a, a forgetter of God? No, the Bible says, do not be a, a forgetful hearer of the word, but be a doer of the word of God. I'm here to tell you, you need to awake to righteousness. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15, to awake to righteousness and do not sin. Do not sin. Don't say to yourself that you can just continue in sin. Oh, that's a demonic teaching, even in the church today. People, they think that they continue in sin. They think they can 